Hey guys and girls at YouTube. Alright, today we're going to, well, as you can see, I've got the uh, Hamachi Q cheese compressor or whatever the hell we're going to call this thing because the gas it produces smells like cheese. It's called a Hamachi Q because uh, that's what it says on it somewhere. It says the word Hamachi Q on it. There you go. Hamachi Q. Um, and yeah, we're still not done an oil change on it. So it's still running original oil, which is probably not good for it, but at least it's got oil in there. Uh, if we I'm need another one of these, there's that many at the scrap. Yeah, there's so many brand of these new things. Ones. Yeah, brand new, literally. Slightly smaller. Yeah, they, they, they are new because all the fittings and things are not... Uh... Oh, right, the, uh, the things, the fans hitting the... Uh... Shut up! <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do now, we have got... We've got no regulators or pressure valves on this, apart from the regulator there, which is piped into this Bubbington burner nozzle, which has been dinted through the post. We play bloody rugby with everything here in, in the United Kingdom, the Postal Service do. And um, we've got about 60 PSI built up into the tank, roughly. I can't believe there's no leaks in this thing. I'm well happy with, with, with my welding skills. This is great. Um, so now we've got some water. We're going to pour it over the over the Babington burner nozzle, and we're going to see how it mists the uh, atomizers the water. So what we need to do is just pressurise this up to about I think what, it maybe to 40. 40 psi. Yeah. I'll try that. Put it over the top. Push it down a bit. There's only a cheapo air, air, air valve regulator thing. This was, as you can see, it's a bit. All over the place, and there we go. It's about 40 psi. Oh, look. <laughs> Wonderful. You can hear. Sorry about that, guys, but that's hurt your ears a bit. Let's see how this thing mists. Oh, wow! Wowie! Awesome. It's difficult actually to get an even flow over it. Oh, that dent really upsets it. Shame. Look at that! That's proper good, that! It does work really well, that. <laughs> that dent really does accept it. Really cool on your hand, actually. Yeah, Isn't that awesome? Obviously it works a bit better with oil because it runs smoother. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, that. Look how that works, guys and girls. It's actually making a really fine mist. No, oh, let's turn it upside down because the both the dints are in the bottom. Yeah. Where's the two holes? There, there we go, right there. Now it's the dints are at the bottom of it. Let's see how it works now. Whoa, oh, that works a bit too, doesn't it? Mm. Well, if we can get even flow over that, that'd be fantastic. That's pretty even now, so that's looking really good. Yes, how many PSI? No, we are losing pressure. Gone down. Lol. Not actually losing tank pressure. It's just the, uh, it's just the, you know, the regulator. That's much better. Oh yeah, look at that. That's fantastic. Let's do a zoom out of that miss. Let's do it over the over the floor, over the. Uh, Let me just refill, yeah. re refill up. That's the best thing about that kind of burner. You can run whatever you want over it, and it, yeah, it won't clog, to clog anything up. up. There's no jets or anything to clog up. Let's do it over the floor because I can see the mist better. Uh, yeah. Let's start there. Yeah, go on then. Alright. Go on then. Oh, look at that, guys and girls. Look at that mist. Now you imagine if we've got that, but oil. That is going to make a flame as long as that mist. And that is going to be one hell of a flame. That's what, what would you say that is? That's, that's an easy foot and off. 
Where's the flame into that? Yeah. And it's atomizing it. it it's that. atomizing it really well. In fact, it's atomizing it that fine that it's that, that it's sticking around for a while. Well, it, it's like it, steam. It's slowly disappearing into the air. Yeah. Like humidifier. Yeah. It's working a lot like a ultrasonic humidifier. Yeah, it is. I'm impressed. I am really impressed. And that's basically how it's going to work in the oil burner. It's going to have a sump in the bottom and an oil yeah, feed an coming, oil in feed coming from, the from the top, like this. And you can see it's it's misting so well. I'm I'm really impressed with that. I never thought it would it would work as well as it is. And we're still at pressure, which is nice as well. Yeah. I'm going to see about getting a different uh, a different what do you call it? That's what we've got. In the regulator tank. for it. And yeah. One of those nice regulators. There was one at the scrapyard. Now I saw it. I saw it on the high voltage rules video. So uh, I may, uh, if he if he, if he lets me go go with him one day to the scrapyard and, and pick it up. He's got priority in that scrapyard. You see, anything he wants, he can have first. But I'm just a tag along. But yeah, I'm I'm well impressed with that. I'm like so impressed. I'm so so impressed. Well, yeah, I don't think these uh, these people saw this uh, compressor yet with the wheels on. It's part built now, guys and girls. Just needs the uh, the switch put on it now. It's <laughs> falling in the inside. <laughs> oh, you can tell that's high pressure. Yeah. Bubbles. Ah, oh, there you go. Look. Oh, look at that. Just from yeah. me pulling it out, the residue water that's on it is actually atomizing. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome! It's the first time we've had that that, that nozzle out of the uh, out of the packaging. We were starting to inspect it when we first got it, but uh, I just literally chucked that. It's the first time it's had compressed air going through. Going through it, through it yeah. It's a f I, I literally just got all that and soldered it all together. That's a brake pipe union. That is. Uh, on the back plate of a the end cap on a copper pipe, and then that's just screwed into the brake brake pipe union. It's one eighth uh, British standard pipe thread. And literally, all I did was I soldered it all together. Literally, got it all really hot. Soldered it all together and just drilled through the whole thing, you know, through it all. And then, uh, as you can see, it's it's perfect. That's that survived 60 psi and. That's about what I'm we're going to sure be reading it at. Yeah, it'll probably yeah. take more. It it's just a shame says, about those bloody dints. He rates it up to 80 psi. We'll see if we can. Uh, I'm actually quite happy that those dints didn't do that much performance, especially when you hold it upside down like that. You can see where the dints are. If you hold it and put it so that it's coming from the top, it doesn't affect it that much. I need to put this somewhere safe. Yeah, back pull, in the drawer. Pull, pull the pipe. There you go. Uh, yeah, so there you go guys and girls. How awesome is that? Babington burner nozzle test run and it works fantastic, even with dint. Just obviously if dints are in the wrong place, then it's not gonna work. It's getting cold in here, I think we need to put the heating yeah. up a bit. I, I need I need to give uh, the fire a poke again. Watch this guys and girls. I'll give this a bit of a poke. Dang. This was literally all the crap I swept up off the floor. And I've just chucked it back in the burner. Like all the old ashes and stuff. It's all oil covered and everything. And we're making more that I've got to go and sweep up. And then I'm going to put it back in the burner again. Reburn all the things. Alright, guys and girls. Fuel. Yeah, free fuel, that's it, yeah. Alright, guys and girls. Thank you very much for watching. Let's just vent this. Oh yeah, let's just, just vent this. Go on then. Well, that made the ears ring a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure anyone... Oh, we've We've iced it up. Yeah, that was ice. That it? was ice. There you go, Lloyd. Just shot ice out at you. Shut the ice out. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, that
Sweet. And that's why this one was decommissioned because it's been uh, stuck a wall up on the top of it. How cool was that, guys and girls? Sorry for uh, bursting your eardrums there. Um, I should really have warned you guys about that. Oopsie. <laughs> Could edit it in. Good editing, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and for any other projects and things, you know, we've got the uh, the yeah, un unbury it first. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the variac yeah, there that's in bits that needs a new uh, a new centre pivot pipe, one and a quarter inch. So hopefully we can get something like that for it. Because that's bakelite, you know, it could be bakelite mixed in with God knows what. It's probably got. Um, asbestos in it and all sorts of that. Yeah. So yeah, so another another one of the videos to look out for, guys and girls. We've got the uh, computer installation there. Uh, just generally everything else. I'm uploading a video at the moment. It's taking ages because our internet's going really slow. But yeah, keep a look out, guys and girls, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video at some point in time. Thank you for watching. Peace out. <laughs>